Hello and welcome to Nostalgic Medicine where we take a look at fascinating stories about the history of medicine and healthcare. Today's video will be on the history of the word doctor. So generally there's two groups of people that we refer to as doctors in the English speaking world. Physicians or medical doctors like myself that have a degree in medicine and people with doctorates such as PhD degrees. And this inevitably leads to the classical gag when a person has a medical emergency in a public place and then someone asks, is anyone here a doctor? And then a PhD holder comes along and says, yes, but I don't think I can help you. But even though we physicians basically have a monopoly on the title doctor, you also get conversations where PhD holders say that they are the original and true doctors and we physicians just stole their title, especially in the UK where they get doctorates but we physicians receive bachelor degrees. So that got me curious, who were the original doctors and do either physicians or PhD holders have more right to the title than the other group? Well, this is what we're going to have a look at in this video, as I'll show you where the term doctor actually came from. So, the term doctor actually originates from Latin, meaning teacher or instructor. And since Latin is a language that developed around the rise of the Roman Empire, that means that people were physicians well before the term doctor came into invention. So, how was the term doctor first used? Well, it might surprise you to hear that the first people to officially award the title of doctor was actually the early Christian church. So, they initially gave this title to people like apostles, church fathers and other Christian authorities who were able to teach and interpret the Bible because this was around a time where you could just pick up a Bible and read it as the printing press had it been invented. No, you had to get interpreted for you by experts on biblical theology, or doctors as they called them at the time. Now this title was very heavily protected by the church, and only those who were awarded with this license to teach, or what we now know as a doctorate, could do so, and this was specifically authorised by the Pope. Another thing that originated from the church were the first ever universities, which initially operated very closely with religious institutions, but then around the 11th and 12th centuries, universities started to operate independently from the church, and this eventually led the Pope to allow universities the right to grant their own license to teach, with the University of Paris being the first to grant one in 1150. So now the question becomes, outside of theology experts, who were the first people to be given this doctorate and hence be called doctors? Well, the way most early universities work was that there was a basic faculty of arts, which was also known as philosophy, with philosophy not referring to the field of philosophy, but to the broader Greek term meaning love of wisdom which awarded only the equivalent of a bachelor degree and then when you completed it, you can study in any of the three higher faculties which were theology, medicine and law. As well as bachelor degrees, these three faculties were also able to award higher doctorate degrees for those who stayed in university for longer and completed extra examinations and this would give you the right to be called a doctor of theology, a doctor of law, or a doctor of medicine. So yes, this means that outside of the theology experts, the first ever doctors were physicians and lawyers. But here's the thing, during the early medieval era, you didn't actually have to go to medical school to get a degree to become a physician. Many people became physicians by simply doing an apprenticeship, in which they would spend several years shadowing a senior physician 
until they were confident to practice by themselves. So this meant that there were essentially two categories of physicians. The physicians who got apprenticeships and the doctors of medicine who went to university. However, the general public couldn't really tell the difference between these two categories of physicians. So they started to refer to all physicians as doctor, regardless of whether they went to university or not. As you can see here in the Johnson's Dictionary, which is one of the earliest ever English dictionaries, the term doctor actually has multiple meanings. It could either be a person with a doctorate in the higher faculties of theology, medicine or law, or just a general term for a physician. But get this, the title doctor was not protected by law, meaning that anyone could use it. And that is exactly what started to happen. And many people outside of these two definitions, and indeed many quacks started to use the term doctor in order to add to the legitimacy. However, around the 19th century, medical schools started to be seen as the more legitimate way to become a physician. And in places like the UK, it became law that this was the only way that you can legally practice medicine. Governments also sought to make sure that this was well regulated and in the UK, the title of Doctor of Medicine became officially protected and could only be used by those with a medical degree. And because of this, I would like to think that even though we physicians have been called doctors since the early Middle Ages, 1858 was the year that all physicians officially were doctors unambiguously, at least in the UK. So that's how physicians became doctors. But what about PhDs and other professional doctorates? Well, like I said, when this title was first given out by universities, only theologians, lawyers and physicians could get it and not those who did subjects in the Faculty of Philosophy, which included stuff like maths, sciences and humanities. The year 1652 was actually the first year that a Doctor of Philosophy was awarded, in a similar vein to the three higher faculties, and this first came about in Germany. Now, this original PhD wasn't similar to modern PhDs, which are now research-based. It was actually in the early 19th century that the PhD officially became a fully-fledged research doctorate, which was first done in Germany, and then this idea eventually spread all around the world. Other professional occupations soon followed medicine, and started awarding doctorates for those with sufficient education, with the laws about which occupations can use the word doctor varying from country to country. So that's the history of the title of doctor. To conclude, the first doctors were senior members of the church, and physicians have been called doctors as early as the 12th century, alongside other experts in law and theology, which eventually led to doctor being a common term for any physician. People with degrees in the Faculty of Philosophy were first awarded doctorates in 1652, and then around the mid-19th century, the modern research-based PhD developed, and all holders of this degree were given the doctor title. And then other professions followed suit, and they awarded their own doctorate degrees. So to answer the question posed at the beginning of the video of who are the original doctors, well I would say that neither physicians or PhD holders are, but we physicians did start using this title and were recognised as doctors over 500 years before the PhD even existed and we were the first profession alongside lawyers to be granted it. So I think that we have as much right as anyone to claim the title of doctor, but hey, it's not a protected title, 
So I think we should use terms like medical doctor or physician in order to avoid confusion.